Please start the interruption and have your attention, please. Attention, Barrymore Bearcats! The cast list for the spring production of Romeo and Juliet has been posted. Please go to the drama room to see your role. And remember, there are no small parts, only small actors. People would treat you different just because they knew you were going to play it. And then on opening night, someone would hand you flowers and we'd be all surprised. Oh, flowers for me? Just because I played one of the great roles in the English language? I'm looking. Not yet! Okay, good luck. You too. You first. For you. Samson. Who's that? The same thing you always do. One of those characters who sets things up in the first scene and has nothing to do with the rest of the play. I'm sorry. It's all right. Who am I? Masquerade dancers with me. No arms. So not only will they not see our faces, they're not even going to hear our voices. Fine by me. I'm getting all my cultural arts credit for this one gig. Well. Hello, fellow besties. Let me see you first. Ah, uh, of course, Juliet. I swear, give me one minute alone in a room with her, and nobody will want to see her face. Simmer down, Nance. Flash in the pan, girl. Flash in the pan. There must be more. 
why do you think that is? You really want to know? Yes. I think it's because he wants Samantha. Emily, honey, we all want Samantha, but that's not it. Don't say that. If I were Samantha, he wouldn't yell at me. I'm 
Emily? Is that possible? No. Well, maybe. It's just that it's such a small part. No, no small part, girl! Well, it's not even that it's small. It's just, it's exactly the kind of part you'd expect a person like me to play. I'm sorry. You know, you look at her and you think, oh, Juliet, of course she's the lead. She's never in her life going to have a role that consists of four one-syllable words. How do you know? I just know. And then you look at Emily, and you look at her life, and you think, crappy little walk-on. Thanks. And I mean, if I were her, wouldn't it worry you that this is going to be it? Like, your whole life is going to be equivalent to this forward role. Well, people play all sorts of roles. Actually, I don't think that's true. I think if you play the second servant in Romeo and Juliet, you end up playing it your whole life. <coughs> One more time. I know not, sir. Well, there's work to be done, but right now, it's dinner time. Great, I'm sorry. Or having shrimp. Shrimp? Blum. Can I get peroni? Your favorite. What's the occasion? You, you're the occasion. We're proud of you. I'm proud of you. And so am I. And so am I. And so am I. You all are properly cozy. It's you. Your triumph is bringing us closer together. Don't worry. We'll eat fast so you can get upstairs and open your part. I learned it already. She learned it already? Amazing. You are amazing. I can't get over how different you are. Different? We might as well say what we mean. Better. How better? More mature. More dumber. And more confident. And more dumber. And prettier. Dad! It's true. You've always been pretty in a supporting character kind of way, but but now? Now you are a leading lady. Exactly. A leading lady in one of the greatest pieces of drama of all time. You know, people think of it as this great romance, but it's not. It's often a tragedy. It is a tragedy. Well, frequently, yes. But at my high school, we changed the end. They didn't die. What? We, it was so sad the way it was. We fixed it. You can't just change a play. <laughs> of course you can, honey. That's why art is better than life. You can change the ending. So you, rewrote. Shakespeare? Uh-huh. The poison Romeo uses is from an old batch. It doesn't kill him. It just slurs his speech a little. That right. And Juliet, when she tries to plunge the dagger into her heart, it misses. It glances off her metal bra. Her what? Her metal bra. When I was, you know, thinking about the role, preparing for it, I thought, what kind of bra would Juliet wear? It's the kind of thing serious actors are always wondering about. You know, what did the character have for breakfast? Do you know Juliet ate for breakfast? No. Muesli. What's that? Muesli. Grains and berries. Oh, that's great. Well, I want to get back to this raw issue. Well, different actors work in different ways. I'm sure you have your own method. I do. Obviously she does. She's a different girl. I think I'm just the same. No, you're not. The owner we can never have learned all those lines. Yes, I could have. Don't get angry. I could have learned them. Why are you upset? I'm giving you a compliment. It doesn't sound like it. All I'm trying to do is give you some praise, praise around people. Let's do a few quick notes before we take a break. Let's 
you've never seen your father cry before, have you? No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Go away. See you at the theater. Parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> All right, let's be on our way. Mom, Dad, I have something to tell you. All right. What is it, sweetheart? Are you okay? I have something to tell you, and it's really important. But I'm not brave enough to just say it. But I will in one minute. In one minute, I want you to ask me what it is, and I'll tell you. Fair enough. I'll time you. As long as we're telling each other things. Paul, is there something you wanted to say? I thought we were going to save that. Well, as long as she's telling us something. Well, all right. We have another surprise for you. A surprise? We've flown in all our relatives. What? You heard me. All of them. Everyone. We paid the airfare. All they had to do was climb on the plane. Your father has been a maniac about this. Some of them were not that easy to track down. Well, Marsha, Marsha was the only hard one. Your Aunt Marsha has been studying Buddhism in Tibet. But don't worry, she'll be here. You flew her in from Tibet? Uh-huh, they're all at the Holiday Inn. How much did all this cost? A gazillion dollars. $14,000. Remember those days in the heat of the spotlight? 
Oh, show, dude. We thrash the rhymes and will it shake? Ooh, ooh, Romo, I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Part. 
keep up. Sam. My head. Again? I hit my head practicing my new tumbling pass. Why would you do that? Championships are coming up. Your father has invited the entire family to see you compete. Mom, it really hurts. I probably should have had a spotter. Sweetie, you have to be so careful when you tumble. I am usually, but I was distracted. By who? The crowds. When I'm famous, I'll have to wait a whole lot. <gasps> Sam, he's gonna be oh. famous! Sam, he's gonna be famous! Oh, would you just hush? I'm in the midst of a tragedy at the moment. <laughs> Emily! If I hear one more word about that competition, don't listen to her. We're proud of you. And? And you too, Pumpkin. You're not off the hook here, by the way. Let me see. Oh my, you really whacked this. I told you. Paul, look at this. Ouch. Should we take her for stitches? The skin's not broken. There's nothing to stitch. How do you feel now? Do you have a headache? No. Are you lightheaded? No. We should get you to a doctor just in case. How many fingers do I have? Ten. Lucky I'm smart. I'd hate to be famous and dumb. I think she's okay. Are you? No, I'm dying. <laughs> well, we can take care of that. Oh. Oh. Ready? All better. It didn't work. It always works. You should be fine. I'm going to go take a nap. All right. See you in a bit. Do you think dumb people have to be told they look like dumb celebrities? That's why art is better than life. Because you can change the end. I'm gonna go take a nap. All right, see you in a bit. On second thought, I don't feel so good. No, this may be more serious than we thought. Let's get to the hospital. I'm gonna go take a nap. All right, see you in a bit. Wait, Mom, um, you should get her checked. I'm fine. No, I heard about patients where people hit their heads. They don't realize how badly they're hurt. They go to sleep and they never wake up. Great. Maybe you're right. Better to be safe. Let me get my shoes on. Take her to the hospital, Mommy! I'm gonna go take a nap. All right, see you in a bit. Sam? Hmm? Love you, sweetie. Love you, too. I'm gonna go take a nap. All right, see you in a bit. Do you think dumb people like to be told they look like dumb celebrities? Alright, enough of all this quiet. Maybe my emotional recall from my acting days doesn't work effectively. Well, we also have a lot to be grateful for. I mean, here we are, Barrymore High School. Emily, what are you grateful for? Nothing's coming to mind. Ah, oh, get me out of this car! Let me go where our crazy family is sitting. I need a close aisle seat. Mama gets so buff after five minutes in them theaters. I have programs! Let's see. Oh. Let me see. Is there a double cast? Nope. I don't see your name. Is there a mistake? Nope. You're playing the servant. I don't understand. Emily, where are you going? I have to get ready. No, I need an explanation. I think it's pretty clear. We have to go, Paul. While we're here, we might as well stay. I can't, Paul. I can't. 
Cora, come on. Everyone else is here. I can't face people. Sure you can. Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you all for coming here tonight. I understand we have someone all the way here from Tibet. Welcome! Without further ado, do to Rarity, a Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Two, Two households, both alike in dignity. In fact, we may have Oh, whose lady is that? Though she enriched the hand of yonder knight. I know not, sir. Oh, she teaches the torches to burn and bright.
Hang on. 